Hello and welcome once again to Friday Night Drinks. My name is Ashley McPherson. Tonight we are celebrating TV families. Yes, I've been looking forward to this one. Those warm, fuzzy, nostalgic TV shows that we, we used to know and love. Family Ties, Family Matters, and true to the formula of those TV shows, tonight you are going to see several examples of teamwork and sticking together, several montages of people hugging, Mm. And you will also learn uh, more than one valuable life lesson, the morals of which will be stated explicitly in the final scenes, just in case you're stupid. Ah, uh, yes, TV families. And our TV our hosts tonight, our team captains, Steph Everson Williams and Joey Philpot. Welcome once again, Steph. You're looking very spotty tonight. But th thank you. Well, well, you are. Oh. It's like hypnotic. Oh, good, good. Is, is that good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, on that note, let's move on to, to Joey on the t on the red team. How are you going, Joey? Good, Ashley McPherson. Thanks. How are you? I'm good. Now we know that you uh, we know that you watch a lot of TV. What about the olden TV? Did you grow up with a lot of it when you were younger? Mate, no. I was uh, a bit of a deadbeat. I just liked the uh, the Cartoon Channel, really. You know, a bit of uh, Angry Beavers. It's not really relevant to this episode, so I could be a little bit lost. Aren't you into The Walking Dead now? Um, yes, as I've grown older, I guess I've moved on to that. Yeah, yeah you've yeah. kind of gone the other way, haven't you? I was, a, I was never allowed to watch The Simpsons growing up, so I feel like this might be a disservice, this This, this may be a wow. disadvantage. Yeah. Well, let's see if your teammates know a little bit more about TV families. On the green team, we have Emily Walker, and on the red team, we have Beck McLennan. Emily. Hello. Were you a Simpsons fan? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Oh, what about other TV families? What was your favourite TV family? Oh, I think I like... The Doctor Who family yes. more than anything else. So oh. the Tylers, you know. The Tylers, okay. Yeah, high five what, for the Doctor Who nerds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what about you over there, Beck? If it was a TV family that you would want to be adopted by, which one would? Full House. Full House, Full definitely. House, definitely. Yeah. Would you pick on the Olsen twins? Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. Smother one or two of them with a pillow. Yeah. <laughs> one or two. There's more than yes. two. Yeah. It's like wow. Well, the yeah. two. Of, I think they, they both played the the same character or something. Anyway, yeah. before we jump in, let's find out what drink is on offer tonight. Matthew and Veronica, my friends, what's on the menu? Tonight, Ash, I have for you the Marge Simpsons, an absolutely fantastic beverage. Oh, how lovely! It's looking uh looking very, very delish. Uh, when you said The Simpsons, I have to say I'm actually very disappointed that it was not the Flaming Mo. Oh, I'll pick up your game. Cheers. Mm, cheers. Very good. They're looking, looking delicious. Actually, they've come out, come out a little bit green. Never mind. I'm sure I can set fire to something a bit later. <laughs> Thank you for that. Now, don't forget, video instructions for all of our drinks are on the YouTube page and uh, details are on your screen now. There they are. Oh, they are too. It's good. Now, our bar Thank team you. will also be competing against our teams tonight. Team Green, Team Red, and uh, the bar team uh, will be the blue team. So, is everyone ready to get stuck into it? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Now that I've had a drink, I'm good. Now that you've had a drink, you're a bit more relaxed. All right. We're going to do Just, a bit of Q&A. How come he has a big, they get a big buzzer and we have a little one? Ah. Uh, Just that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess, Ashley. Uh, Whoa. Yeah, you know. Who are you bribing, it's Joey? It's not the size, it's how you use it. Let's find out. Okay, Q&A, here we go. Name the second spin-off show from All in the Family. Mm. What's All in the Family? Rousing response there. I'm just gonna say that nobody knows that one. Okay, we have a buzz in. Everyone loves Raymond? Uh, no, no, not everybody loves Raymond. Uh, we'll go with the Jeffersons, that was the one I wanted there. This one's about everybody loves Raymond. In that program, everybody loves Raymond, what are the names of Ray and Deborah's three children? Oh, gee, it's all sure. quiet in the house tonight. Mm, me too. <laughs> no idea. We're going to have to... Oh, uh, Tim, George and Greg. You are wrong, wrong and <gasps> wrong. It was actually right. Ali, Michael and Jeffrey. Oh, mm, okay. okay. Mm. Now then, which family in Dallas is the core family of the show? The Bastard! That would be the Ewings. Um, it, it was the Ewings. Very good. Uh, Matthew's, Matthew's off the board with, uh, with uh, the with the Dallas question. Right then, you should know this one. I'd okay. be very disappointed if you didn't. Name all six of the main characters from Friends. Me! Oh, the Greens got that one, yes. Okay, here we go. Rachel, Joey. Rachel, oh, Joey. Girls first. Yeah. Rachel. Rachel. Phoebe. 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 Monica. Monica. Joey. Joey. Chandler. Chandler. And... Ross. Ross. <laughs> Ross, yes, that's all six of them. I, ca I can confirm that, that those were the six of them. Congratulations. With that, we move on to our next round, which ah, is Odd One Out. So, name from the following, which is the odd one out? From the Brady Bunch, Greg, Marsha, Jan, or Alice? Reds. Alice. Alice, indeed, she was not the Brady. She was not a Brady, wasn't she? She was the housekeeper. Very good. From Full House, Kimmy, Stephanie, and Michelle. I never saw Full House. Reds. Kimmy. 
Kimmy, we'll go Kimmy. Ashley. Kimmy, uh, indeed, Kimmy is the neighbour. Oh, good find. Becky's oh, no. Becky's proven her worth. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the odd one out from the Simpsons cast? Clancy, Jacqueline, Abraham, or Patty? The bar staff. Uh, I believe the answer is Clancy. It was not Clancy. Ooh, bad luck there. Did anyone else want to have a crack at uh, that one? The Greens, yes. Patty. Uh, it, uh, it was not Patty. I'm afraid it was not Patty. That leaves the Reds. Well, uh, two what options. were the other two remaining? We had Clancy, Jacqueline, Abraham, or Patty. <laughs> Jacqueline. Um, it was actually Abraham. I was going <laughs> to say <laughs> Abraham. It sounds the most unusual. It, uh, well, um, that was actually the answer I had here. No, it was uh, Abraham is a Simpson. The others were all uh, Bouvier, Bouvier family members. Mm. Oh, unfortunately. which is Marge. Uh, Marge's family, yes. Marge's that's side. Marge's okay. maiden name. Okay. Hence the drink. Okay. The Simpsons, the Griffins, the Smiths, and the Browns. Reds? Uh, that would be the Smiths. The uh, the Smiths, not correct. Oh, not okay. correct, I'm afraid. Okay. Does anyone else want to give it a crack? Odd one out from the yes, Greens. The Browns? Uh, not the Browns. Not the Browns. Unless the bar staff want to have a go. Don't know this one. Oh, left us hanging. Know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You can't have another crack. What's oh, going on here? Okay. I'm afraid not. It's actually The Simpsons. The rest were all created by Seth MacFarlane. Ah. Ah. Okay. okay. Well, next up, it's Guess the TV Show. I will give you an ambiguous TV show description, and teams, you'll have to work out what TV show it is that I am describing. Shall we crack into it? Yes. Here we go. An inner-city teenager from Philadelphia is sent to live with his relatives <gasps> in L.A. Greens. Fresh Prince of Bel -Air. Was it Philadelphia that gave it away? Yeah. Yes, well, it was yeah. for me too. Excellent. Yes, one point for you. A hard working policeman is mocked by his family and tormented by his eccentric neighbour. A little bit more obscure, perhaps, with that expression, with that uh, description. It's a comedy. Eh, no, okay, that's Family Matters. Family Matters, that one. Oh. All right. Well, that'll be it for the for the first segment. It's time to check our scores down the bottom of yonder screen. It's neck and neck at the moment. Two, two, and the bar staff have got one. So this one could go any way. Right, now it is time to test your skills at home, which is the following question. <coughs> what? Which? The following question. Okay. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to Frenchify the show a little bit here, add a little bit of class. <laughs> Which Big Bang Theory hey. boy nerd starred in Roseanne for six seasons? I don't know why I'm trying to Frenchify it with a British accent. We'll be back after the break with the answer to that question and a little bit more pop culture quizzery. See you soon. Welcome back to Friday Night Drinks. Now, before the break, we asked you all at home, which Big Bang Theory boy nerd starred in Roseanne for six seasons? If you answered Johnny Galecki, then give yourself a point because that is correct. Is Johnny Galecki a nerd himself? Is it right to call him a nerd? Anyway, I'm sure he's probably a lovely person. At the moment, the green team is sitting at two points. The red team is also on two points. It's neck and neck, and the bar team is on, uh, is on one. The bar team is on one. So, it's anyone's game at the moment. Mm. Just Two Seconds is the next game, which happens to be my favourite. You will hear just two seconds of a song, not the entire song, you have to guess what the song is. Okay. And it's going to be the theme song of a particular TV show. Funnily enough, mm -hmm. is everyone ready to play? Yes. Yes, yes Ashley. <laughs> just as Let's well, play. because here comes the first song. Uh. Oh, the Reds got that one. The Simpsons. It certainly oh. was. Joey, that's probably the first question that you've answered for the entire series. <laughs> 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 you know what, well, I think that deserves a little, you know, well That's done, a bit of a round of applause. Uh, uh, absolutely, series. yes. <laughs> wave wave playing. out there. Thank wave you out you for there. Playing. Oh, we're not going to. We'll just no, finish the series there. One question. <laughs> we're not going to top that. Here's, here's the next one. It's violence in movies. Eh! Oh, eh, eh, eh. eh. Uh, the, the bar stuff. Is it Family Guy? It is, of course, Family Guy. Yes, well done. You. That was that was always going to be correct. Now, here's, here's another one. Oh, that one was you. Yes, the Brady okay. Bunch. Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch, well indeed. Everyone's on the board with a point for this one. Here's the next song. Oh, that was borderline, but the Greenies got it. The Greenies yes. got it. The Adams Family. Well yeah. done. Very good. Now, here is the next one. <laughs> the Reds. It's the Fresh Prince. It's, it, it is indeed the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Can we see how quick you can do the whole song? Could how quick we can like do the whole song? Right now? Yeah. yeah. Um, no. Let's go to the next question there, Ashley. 
<laughs> That's as much time as we've got, so we'll have to move on. Okay, we'll have our one more song, one more song from the Just Two Seconds category. Here it comes. Fast off, fast off. Want to have a go with that one? Home Improvement? Mm, no, unfortunately. Does anyone else want to have a crack? I think, yeah, the Reds, I think, got in second. Um, I don't know. Uh, Becca? Mm, okay, not Becca, hey, not it? Becca. Rose, Don't look Rose at me. Roseanne? <laughs> Roseanne, no. It's actually the Cosby Show, that one. Ah. Cosby ah. Show. Well, you know what? I'm having so much fun. Let's do some more songs. Do you want to do some more songs? Yes. Dad, <laughs> yeah, thanks. okay. Let's, did you call me Dad? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go with it. <laughs> Moving on. Next song. Ah! Ah! Happy, happy days. days. Always happy mm. when we're with each other. You are correct, my daughter. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. Whatever happened to you? Mm. Can we have it one more time, oh. Ashley McPherson? Yes, I think we can have that one more time. Whatever happened to you? Whatever happened to Uh, okay. Silence on the floor. No one wants to give that one a shot? Um... TV families. Something wholesome. Was that, something what was that, sorry? I is don't it, know. Is it Mad About You? It's not Mad About okay. You, no. No, it's uh, actually Full House. Oh. Full House. I wouldn't, I wouldn't classify Mad About You a TV family, more like no, a TV couple. Yeah, <laughs> I was stabbing in the dark, let's it, be it was a bit of a stab, you yeah. know, you might as well. Okay, let's have one more, one more song. What will we do, baby? <laughs> Silence. Silence everywhere. Don't you guys watch TV? Go on, <laughs> one more we, time. Yeah, one more time. What would we do, babe? What would we do? No, no, no. Oh, yes, no. the Reds want to give it a shot? Anything? Drama and Greg? Not, not Dharma and Greg. Uh, that's actually Family <laughs> Ties. Ah, family okay. ties, unfortunately. Okay, now I'm going to have to move on before the entire the entire wall falls down on us. Let's move on to finish the lyric. <laughs> I will say a part of a lyric. You will have to uh, finish it. These are uh, these come from uh, TV uh, TV families and TV shows. Here we go. The first lyric that you have to complete is Flintstones meet the Flintstones. They're a modern Stone Age family from the town of Bedrock. When a veteran are none of history. I'll give you that. They're a page right out of history. That was the Flintstones <laughs> theme song. Um, here we go. Moving on to the next one. I bet we've been together for a million years, and I bet we'll be together for a million more. Oh, it's like I started breathing. Fast off, yes. Is it Home and Away? Oh, you could not be more wrong. It is not <laughs> Home and Away. Does anyone else want to give that one a shot? I'll give you a clue. We did hear the song earlier in the uh, Just Two Seconds segment. Family ties. <laughs> yes, but do you know the lyrics? Family ties. Family ties. <laughs> You're very close, but no. The, the lyric was actually on the night we, like I started breathing on the night we kissed, and I can't remember what I ever did before. Of course. What we do, etc. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to move on to the Who Am I segment now because it seems like nobody knows their lyrics. Okay. Who I'm just going to drink. I think that that's my tactic for this week. Oh, well, if you're happy, then it doesn't even matter if you win or lose. Who am I? Okay. In the late 80s and 90s, I was everyone's favourite uncle. All the bar staff want to have a go. You did as well from the very, very early point. It's Uncle Phil. It's not Uncle Phil. No, I'm afraid. Did you guys want to have a crack? Bill Cosby? Not Bill Cosby, <laughs> no. Probably the favourite father, but not the uncle. Okay, uh, favourite uncle. In s for six points, as a musician, I have sometimes played for the Beach Boys. For four points, so I could relate to my character, I changed my last name from Cochrane to something a little more Greek. For two points, everyone has a catchphrase. Mine is, have mercy. I, I might have to close the bidding there. Does anyone <laughs> not know? John Stamos. John, uh, John Stamos there, the, 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 dude, the dude from Full House. The dude from Full House. I feel House. like this is quite a Full House heavy show. I feel like if you've never seen that show, you, you would no, have no chance. Well, for those two questions, certainly. But yeah. the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, everyone jumped That's on the buzzer. That's true. That's mm. true. That's true. Uh, daughter, here we are. <laughs> uh, for eight points, who am I? I was an 80s heartthrob. For six points, I played the eldest son, who was a Republican, while my mother and father were ex-hippies in the show. For four points, I was also the main character in a popular trilogy of films that was released at the same time. For two points, I have Parkinson disease, Reds. Uh, Michael J. Fox. It is Michael J. Fox indeed. We were talking about family ties and, uh, and back to the future. Well done there from Beck. Okay, who am I this time? I was originally everyone's favourite character. 
from this show until my father started to shine. For six points, I'm an updated bad boy version of Dennis the Menace. For four points, I love my comic books and have even made an alter ego for myself. Uh, yes, Greens. Is it Bart Simpson? It is Bart Simpson. Yes. Very, very good. Oh. All right, now then, we're going to... Uh, we're going to check the, the scores, I think. We're going to check the scores because we haven't done that for a while. Shall we check down the bottom of yonder screen? Oh, the Greens have got a bit of an ascendancy at the moment. They're on 10 points. The Whoa. Reds are on 6. And uh, the Bar oh, Staff no. over there are on 2. Pick up your game, Bar Staff. I would right. say recount, but we're ahead. No, so yeah. it's fine. <laughs> just go with it. Well, maybe we can recount just to reassert your confidence even more. OK, <laughs> we'll be right back with more Friday Night Drinks after this. Please don't go away. There will be more questions. <laughs> mm -hmm. See what I did there? See what you did there. Back to Friday Night Drinks. We're just sitting back enjoying a beverage at the moment, which we like to call the Marge Simpson with green hair dye. Although I guess it could be related to a green dress, I suppose. Score check. The green team is on 10 points. The red team is on 6. The bar is on 2. But it's still very much anyone's game at the moment because we have two more rounds to go. Joey, it's not, yes, uh, it's not often at this part of the game where you find yourself trailing. What's your strategy? Have you mm. and Beck discussed it? Well, uh, usually the, uh, the weekly plan is for my... Uh, uh, partner here just to carry the team. <laughs> so, you know, I hope just you're like informed of this, Beck. Sorry, I left my game. <laughs> <laughs> We're just but hoping to get lucky, really. Hoping to get lucky. Well, luckily for you, uh, the luck is 50 to 50 with this next one because it's the true or false round. Even if you know absolutely nothing about, say, full house or family ties, <laughs> then you're still likely to get it right if you just have a bit of a stab. Ready for the true or false round? Here we go. True or false, the character Michelle Tanner from Full House was played by twins. Reds? Uh, false. False. It's not false, it's true. Oh. That was the character that was actually played by the Olsen twins oh, that we awesome. mentioned earlier. Because uh, to abide by child laws, they had to um, only have a certain amount of time with each one. Okay, true or false? In season four of The Nanny, Fran and Maxwell finally get married and become a family. Oh, that, that was the... that was the bar, that was the bar. True. Oh, your heart was in the right place, but it's false because it actually happened in season five. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh dear, I like tricking you. It is said that in Arrested Development... Oh. Yes, true or false? Well, okay, but I know, I'm going to know the answer because I love Arrested Development. As do I. So if it's a preemptive buzz, <laughs> could you finish the question and I will answer it definitely? I don't think the team that's leading gets to have that okay. involvement. Okay, right, well then we'll just have a guess. I'm going to go with false. It's Arrested. true, unfortunately. Oh. Uh, a plot arc was started that never finished involving Tobias being an albino black man. Oh, yeah, that is false. Uh, that, that, is, uh, that is true. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so you would have gotten it wrong even <laughs> if I did finish the question. How about that? That's true? It's bizarre. Yes, I'll tell you all about it um, afterwards. True or false? <laughs> Phoebe and Ross Geller were siblings in the comedy sitcom Friends. Greens. True. That is true. It's false. It was Monica oh, that was yeah. Ross's sister. Oh, oh gosh. I'm just, getting everyone right. on the wording tonight. Do we get deductions? Deductions? Oh, I, I certainly hope not. We'll check the scores in just a moment. Here's one about Everybody Loves Raymond. True or false? In that show, the children, Ali, Michael and Jeffrey, are actually real-life siblings. Bar staff, mm. bar staff. True. They've got it. It's true. They were actually real-life siblings in that case. True or false? In Modern Family, Cameron reveals his and Mitchell's adoptive daughter to their family by raising her in the air to Lion King. Yep. That's true. That one is true. This happened in the pilot episode, oh, showing yes. just how dramatic Cameron's episode, uh, Cameron's episode, Cameron's character can be. Mm -hmm. Here's one about the Simpsons. Mm -hmm. True or false? Simpsons creator Matt Groening based Bart after his neighbour's bratty son. Greens. True. Uh, that one was false. He based Bart on himself, and uh, he based Homer, Marge, and Lisa after his own family members. Ooh. It's, it's, I like pretending that I've got, I'm like a wealth of knowledge, even though <laughs> I've got it all written down on the cue cards. It's great. <laughs> True or false? Actors Johnny Galecki and Sarah Gilbert have worked together before the Big Bang Theory in Roseanne. Reds. True. That is indeed true. We had a bit of that info before. They were love interests in both shows. Although the relationships do vary. True or false? The Brady Bunch stars Maureen McCormick and Barry Williams shared an irregular romantic relationship off screen. Reds. I will have a stab and say true. That is true as well. They shared their <laughs> first so. romantic Watching kiss up. in the summer of 1972. Mm. Mm, very, very interesting. <laughs> Sauciness behind the scenes. 
You're probably wondering what goes on behind the scenes of Friday night drinks, but it's all very, 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 very tame, I can assure you. <laughs> True or false? In the fourth season of How I Met Your Mother, it is revealed that Barney Stinson has a wife and kid he never told ah. his friends about. Uh, that one was the bar staff, I'm afraid. True. I believe that one's false, Veronica. False. 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 It, it is actually false because they were not an actual wife and son. They were just actors pretending. Mm. Oh, Very interesting. Great. I love that show. Yeah, love that show. show. Uh, excellent show. Now it's on to our lightning round. So there's still an opportunity for the bar staff and the Reds to make up some points. Here we go. Okay. Which year did our favourite yellow-skinned family, the Simpsons, begin their 24 seasons? The Reds want to give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. 89. Bang on. 89. Whoa. Correct. <laughs> wow. If it's yeah, true or right. false and it's 50-50, yeah, it, you get more wrong than if it's, I don't know, 1989, what are the odds of that? Yeah. Which family started with a pilot, including the father teaching his son about income in the real world with Monopoly money? No one wants to have a shot at that one? Oh, they do? The Greens? Brady Bunch? It was not the Brady Bunch. That one was the Cosby family, the Cosby family. In what season of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air did the mother Vivian Banks change actresses? Um, that was the bar staff as well. I do believe that is season four. Ash. Yeah, bang on. It's season four. He's got it right. Which show starring Michael J. Fox had a loving family montage and the theme song Without Us at the start of every episode? Oh, um, was that a buzz? I think it was yeah, a buzz. It was. Um, oh, I can't Is remember it? what it was called. It's it has been a bit of a recurring ties. theme cool. tonight. Is it fam 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 family, family Ties? I will go with Family Ties, yes. yes. <laughs> Family Ties, correct. Which recent mockumentary style comedy features three families of different race, sexual orientation and family values? Greens. It, modern Family. Modern Family is correct, Amundo. In Family Guy, what age is Quagmire, the family's neighbour? Uh, uh, Reds. Um, would you say... 40? He's not 40. That he's actually 61, unfortunately. Quagmire? Yeah, he's 61. Really? Apparently he's it was, it was well. referenced in one of the episodes. Which 80s wow. sitcom is known for its line, What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> Greens. <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? Don't look at sheep buzz. Oh, sorry. You, you <laughs> did buzz. Yeah, I, I, well, I, uh, um. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. What you talking about, Willis? Yes. Um, oh, we what's might have to, yeah, putting the buzzer on your head so might uh, help in some circles. We're going to have to throw it open to the floor. Does anyone no. else know? Have a go. Who's Sorry, was that? Who's the boss? Who's the boss? It wasn't. It was not. No, who's the boss? It's, um... mm, meh. it's oh. called Different Strokes. Yes. Yeah. Different Strokes. Yes. And in Everybody Loves Raymond, what was Ray Barone's profession when he first met Deborah? Last question. Greens. A sports writer. Not when he first met Deborah, unfortunately. Oh. Do the Reds want to give it a go? What was he doing when he first met her? Um, he was a referenced in one or two episodes, I think. Hmm. Uh, sports coach. He was not a sports coach. He was a delivery man, unfortunately. Time is up. That's it for our lightning round, and that is it for all of the rounds. It's time to uh, crown tonight's the champion, and it is the Greens. They managed to hold on to their lead, 13 points to nine, and the bar staff were on five points. Congratulations to all, which means that you guys get the lovely sparkling glass once again. There you go. Hold it up you, you may hold it aloft. Like, a, like the circle of life, like the modern family guy with his baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, if only we had to finish the lyrics for that one. Okay, please thank our <laughs> special guests tonight, wrong. Emily Walker and Beck yeah. McLennan. You've, you've both been terrific and, and carrying your, your team captains. Matthew and Veronica, thank you for the drinks. And our wonderful team captains, Stephanie Everson-Williams and Joey Philpott. As always, thank you for watching at home and thank you for contributing to the viewer question if you did. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Friday Night Drinks TV and tweet to us on Twitter at FMD underscore TV. Subscribe to the YouTube channel as well to find out how to make the drinks such as the Marge Simpson. Next week, our theme is superheroes. I can't wait for that one. Thank you for joining us. My name's Ashley McPherson. See you for drinks next week. Bye.